now I'd like you to go back and make the connection between your kidneys, the sickle cell trait, and why they were going to take your kidneys out. Well, well they weren't going to take my kidneys out. Um, it, it was more like they were near compromised, uh, meaning the muscle breakdown level, the CK levels were high. Uh, it's creatine kinase. They were high. Okay. Um, and they, were, they would often be high. But uh, the reason why is because with sickle cell, when your body is deprived of oxygen, it tends to break down the muscle much faster, right? Uh, it's called it's called, it's called rhabdo or rhabdomyolysis. And um, when you slip into this rhabdomyolysis, typically it's expressed from sickle cell crisis. So when you're going through the sickle cell crisis, your your, your muscles are going to de, uh, deteriorate and um, and they're going to attack your kidneys basically. And that because your body your body filters out that muscle breakdown through the kidneys. Well, yeah. I'm going to actually add to that, you know, so my focus in my life is on the brain. Mm -hmm. So if you're not getting oxygen to your muscles, you're also not getting it to your brain. So mm -hmm. I can't, we haven't even touched that subject yet, right? Absolutely. No, so, you're, you're, you're spot on. You know, if you're, if you're lacking oxygen somewhere, you're lacking it everywhere. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, And so if you're not getting it to the brain, the brain can't send the signal to the kidneys either. Mm -hmm. Keep talking. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. That's, that's amazing. So you're not getting enough oxygen to your muscles, your kidneys breaking down. And now what is it? What is the doctor telling you? Um, man, they, they were like, <laughs> you know, they were like, Lance, you know, you don't know what's going on because they did a muscle biopsy. They took a piece of muscle out of my leg, you know, they ran some tests on it. And like, we don't know what's going on. Um, we, we, we think it's, um, a figment of your imagination. We think that your your brain's tricking your body out because of some past trauma, where <laughs> where your your brain is making you cramp up. That's what's making you go to the hospital, and then they place me on severe anxiety, depression medication, um, uh, uh, pain pain uh, pain medication like Celebrex. The severe anxiety, depression medication was Effexor and Citalopram. Um, those two are new to me. The rest I know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, um, new yeah. New drug of choice, right? New drug of choice. Yeah. And those, uh, those pain medications and um, uh, the anxiety medication exacerbated the situation. So it made it worse. So everything I thought I was feeling now times two or three. And uh, it got to a point where I took myself off and I was like, you know what? I'm done, with, I'm done, you know, going down this Western medicine approach. I'm going to try to figure this stuff out. Uh, and, you know, quite naturally, I gravi I graduate, I gravitated towards, you know, doing it the natural way, doing the way the earth intended for it to be, um, the way our bodies intended for, because our bodies come from the ground. Of course, our nutrients should come from the ground or from plant nature. Yeah. Plant it, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, so I started Captain Plant It. So yeah. it was like either the either my, my nutrients are gonna come from below my feet or above my head. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's that's how I took that approach. You know, um, there's a part of my story that's getting published uh, in a week in the Florida Women's Magazine, and. Uh, and Topeka, Kansas, uh, health and wellness. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I never had kids cause I was, they put me on medications. I was so young. There would be no way I knew intuitively there was no way I could have kids with all those medications that I was on. I was on 19 medications and, um, uh, I had, um, ended up having a full hysterectomy because of all the tumors that, grew um, on all my female parts and it wasn't just like um, a small cyst or it was parasitic and they were brown and green so the title of that story is of the article that I wrote for these two magazines is I use my um, I use my body as a toxic waste dump I have to be accountable and responsible for what I did, right? Because um, I agreed to the, to let the doctors use me for all their clinical trials. Mm -hmm. So 
if you're listening to this, you've got two people so far <laughs> that are telling you not to do drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Montre, want to pipe in here? <clears throat> yeah, no, absolutely. Um, I think Lance did an outstanding job kind of telling us, you know, about the, the foundation for it. And I've had my fair share of experiences also. Um, nothing to the degree of Lance, but in terms of taking IVs before a game, um, you know, coaches asking questions, oh, like, are you, you know, just double backing, like, oh, are you hydrated? Or are you doing things <clears throat> outside of, you know, sports related things that could be impacting? Um, it never got to to the degree where you know they didn't they were like questioning my character questioning my mentality um however i decided you know i'm a lot younger than land so being able to bring a lot more information new information um to, to talk to them about you know how this is something that is sometimes out of our control whenever we're competing at the highest highest level um and so just bringing awareness uh was my point of emphasis when I was there, especially um, in collegiately when I got to the NFL, um, you know, they basically, if there's anything that's going on, they'll, they'll make sure that you have the time that you need and just a lot more precautious about it. And so I think the education around it also just looking at statistically, like one out of one million out of every 300 million of Americans have it and, and it's close Wait, to what is that statistic? How much? It's, it's like, uh, one wait, one million out of three, three million Americans are affected by it. Um, wow. Majority African Americans, but yeah. there are other races that um, experience it also, and and this affects newborn babies, um, you know, all the time. So if there is a situation where, like Lance was mentioning, your body is deprived of oxygen, you know, there's almost an immediate impact within that three to five minute range. Um, and so if you're not able to recover and get the the breath that the oxygen that you need, you know, your body and organs can suffer. So um, I've seen guys kind of lose vision. Um, you know, Lance mentioning kidneys, um, your body is trying to find energy and also trying to <laughs> get rid of waste. And most of that is muscle and sugar. So it's uh it's it's a it's a it's an interesting kind of um I guess, situation to be a part of. Um, but it's one of those things where we have products like this and then, you know, creating a lifestyle around something that um, provides you nourishment is what is lacking in that part of understanding how to get through these um, tough times, especially if you have these episodes. So, 